Another day, another tutorial. Today I'm gonna be unraveling the mysteries of the vortex. I know you guys have been waiting for this. People have asked me about it. What is the vortex? How do I do the vortex? When do I not do the vortex? Well, guess what, guys? We're gonna find out together. For example, let us look at El Forte. He has a great mix-up game. That is, that is his specialty, you could say. His wake-up game is what he does, and for the most part, all of his moves are pretty unsafe. Unlike Akuma, ha, Akuma has a, a much better wake-up game with more options, and it's safer than El Forte. We'll figure that's what makes Akuma so special. Now, I guess that's what a Vortex is, then. It's a wake-up, mix-up game. I mean, what you want me to say? Arturo Sanchez started it. It ain't my fault. Just gotta embrace it. Gotta embrace it. So put that boy on quick stand and trainer mode and uh, get working on those unteckable knockdowns because that's how you start the Vortex. That's certainly not unteckable. Looks like we got some work to do. An unteckable knockdown is basically a knockdown that renders your opponent unable to quick stand. And you're likely to come across the sweep in the wild as you're testing out vortex opportunities. And honestly, the sweep is really the best option to start the vortex. And it has the most ways to actually hit it, which is good. The most simple method you're seeing here, which is the poke slash counter poke. You can also sweep after an air tatsu. It doesn't have to be a cross up tatsu, but it more than likely will be since that's basically God and Vortex land, so. You can also FADC a fireball and then sweep afterwards for a combo. This is helpful when you're going in for a hit confirm and you get a hit. Then you can get a quick knockdown as long as you got two bars. Now we all know about the bread and butter, right? Instead of ending it with your normal Shoryuken or FADC, try ending it with a sweep. The timing may be difficult at first, but you'll get the hang of it. It doesn't work on every character, it is character specific, and here's a magical list I'm gonna pop up on the screen. There's some other goofy ways to land a sweep as well, like off a far standing jab. This is pretty difficult on most characters, but on a character with a giant hitbox like Sagat, it becomes relatively easy to do stupid loop combos that normally aren't possible. Next on the list here is the throw. There's three types of throws for Akuma to worry about. The throw is going to be your other major source for a knockdown, with the exception of the back throw, which puts you in a pretty awkward position, so it's not very useful, so we're not going to talk about it. By mixing up your throws and your other knockdowns, you should confuse lesser opponents handily. The next hard knockdown is the Demon Flip Palm, which coincidentally breaks glass as well. You're usually using the palm to whiff, but if it hits, you might as well go with the flow. Just step back a bit and that'll set up an okay mix-up. And finally we have the J.R. Rodriguez Special. Chances are your opponent's going to be pretty close to dead after using this, so don't expect too much mix-up opportunity. Thank you and come again. Step 2 is the setup. The setup can be likened to a World of Warcraft skill tree where you select an ability and you're narrowed down a certain path. In this case, it would affect your mix-up options later on, so you have to be aware of all your setups. It's important. First setup is the empty slash safe jump. A safe jump being a jumping attack on an opponent's wake up where you land one frame before they can reverse you. Some of these safe jumps I'm doing aren't really safe jumps because uh, I'm not very good at them, so... 
they're more like a generic store brand version of a safe jump. So deal with it. This tactic in particular is good for baiting out wake up moves such as a reversal uppercut throw or whatever else they might do and it also lets you set up opportunities for mix up such as a low attack or throw. The real safe jump would not technically be able to bait out a reversal shoryuken because the shoryuken comes out one frame faster than the safe jump. But like I said these are not real safe jumps. Next up on the list we have the normal jump and attack your basic stuff. It's pretty underrated among the vortex options I think and on the breakfast cereal scale, I'd say it's a cornflakes. Now when I say jump and attack, I'm of course including cross-ups, neutral jump and attacks, and even jumping fireballs, so all the above jump and attacks. I'm gonna be a nice guy here and throw in regular down medium kick dive kick, as poopy as it is. It is still a jump and attack. After a couple mix-ups with your cross-up Tatsu, for instance, you go for a jump and attack and catch them blocking the wrong way, which is pretty cool. Speaking of Tatsu, Air Tatsu, that's the next on our list. Hey! Sort of akin to Fruity Pebbles, which are very delicious, but get soggy very fast, so you gotta be careful. You don't have to sweep after a Tatsu, by the way, cross up or otherwise. You can do Shoryukens and other, you know, techable knockdowns, but I mean, why would you want to do that, right? You can even go for a reset and be goofy, which, you know, it has varying levels of use, but uh, you wanna play cool with the resets. Here's the part where I lump in all the demon flip options together for no reason. AKA Frosted Flakes because they're so sweet. Except for the slide, don't not really do the slide because you're better off doing a palm landing into a low attack because you know the palm lands instantly. I don't know if you knew that. Um, you go into a low attack like a sweep or a forward into a combo. It's great. Um, of course the Palm and the throw are unteckable knockdowns, so that's always good. And the dive kick is another good jumpin'. You can whiff the palm, as uh, we've discussed about 3 billion times, and get good combos. And then mix it up with the dive kick. Tatsu, now we're getting somewhere, now we're getting into the vortex. Oh yeah. That's the step. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Okay, that's enough. See, that Tourette's motion there was uh, me trying to play footsies with the dummy AI, which is not even moving. But uh, a lot of times, a good way to advance is by ground. People never expect it. It's a very ballsy move, so, you know, just a walk-up throw or walk-up sweep. Sure you can. All those are pretty cool options. That is going to about do it for part one of the Vortex tutorial. Uh, stay tuned for part two, which might be on the internet as we speak. I am Lord Voltima, and peace out.